Hey guys, it's Ultra Steel here, and we're continuing The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Alright, so the last part we uh, went to get a few more Gold Skull Tolas and Dead Mountain. And this part, we're going to do a very interesting quest. And uh, this quest is uh, kind of frustrating if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, basically, it's the big Po quest. And what you have to do is you have to find 10 Po's. They're like, they're not just any normal post you can get in the graveyard. These ones are very specific, and you can only get them in Hyrule Field. So make sure uh, you jot down the exact spots on where they are, and I will show you which spots that they happen. And uh, don't worry if you miss like a po in one location. If you if you leave a cer from a certain distance and then return, you can respawn the po, and uh, it'll come back. So, uh, let me explain. This, I'm about to show you one of the hardest posts to get, and the reason I'm gonna do it now is because, well, not only is it hard to get, but, uh, it's also next, uh, next door to me, so I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you an example. So, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll show up in specific locations like this, uh, and what's hard about this quest is sometimes they'll, they'll spawn in the wall to where you can't really hit them, or they'll, like, They'll appear in an angle to where it's very hard to hit them. So what you need to do is you need to like very well position when you're gonna hit them. So let's try that again. Let's uh, let's back off a bit and then return. Uh, let's see if we have a better chance. Make sure you stock up on arrows because otherwise uh, you can't really do this. And that was not a good start. All right, let's see. There might be a better way of uh, doing this poem in particular. Uh, but this is how I've always done it. There might be a better way, I'm not sure. But if you do find a better way, uh, let me know, because this poem has always kind of got my nerves. Alright, so let's see. Oh, Darn it! So close. Alright, so I'm probably going to uh, skip ahead to the parts to where I get it. So let's see. Let's try this again. Turn it! Ah! I swear, it's like, if you try and position it, it misses like five times. That's another problem, like, it, it's very... It moves inconsistently sometimes, like, wherever you're trying to move, it's like the opposite. I can't explain it, but just this plus is pretty annoying. Are you serious? That should have hit him, come on. Uh, this is like the hardest one. Come on! I should have hit him! Uh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm gonna restock. Stocked and arrows. One more thing I should also mention is you can only get the post when you're on your horse. If you try and get them like on foot, you're gonna find different kind of pose that they're not the same, and those those are not the pose you want. And yes, I finally did it. I hate getting this pose. It's so annoying. Uh. So yeah, you might want to do this pose first because I swear this is like the most annoying pose to catch. Make sure you have an empty bottle and everything. All right, so we got well, so we got one po. Let's go ahead and get a few more. All right. So, yeah, you see, like if you try it, if you try and get them on foot, you're gonna run to these guys. You do not want to run to these guys because they are like annoying and they just don't really do anything. They're just there, like they don't really, they're not relevant. Like even if you catch them and you take them to the post seller, he doesn't add points to your card. Therefore, it's pretty much irrelevant. He gives you money, yeah, but just don't, just, just forget those ghosts. Not worth it. There we go. I spawned it. Okay. Speed up. Alright. So, one more. Yeah, so this this quest can be very irritating. 
But, uh, I gotta do that. I gotta do it for the 100% run, you know? Alright. So let's go ahead and, uh, find one more, shall we? Uh, there's one around here, I believe, like, right in front of Hyrule Castle. It's a little hard to miss, though. It should be, like, right here somewhere, I believe. There it is. Wow! That was a big fail. Darn it, Pono, why'd you stop? Okay, hold on, let me try again. There it is. I am horrible at this. Hold on. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna go, I'm gonna demonstrate on how you take it back to the post tower. So let me, guys, let me show you guys. Go back. Check one more. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, it's in here. So make sure you take out your post. Pose before bros. Okay. Oh, you brought a poke today. Hmm. Very interesting. This is a big poke. I'll buy it for 50 rupees. On top of that, I'll put 100 points on your card. If you earn 1,000 points, you'll be a happy man. <laughs> so pretty much, uh, just keep giving them these posts, you know, select the item and then give it to him. Yeah, with 1,000 points, he'll give you an empty box. So you want to make sure you get all these uh, posts. And uh, with each time I do this, I'm going to re go restock my arrows off uh, camera because, again, this can be a very annoying quest if you're not uh, that good. And as you can see, uh, I'm not the worst at it, but as you can see, I have nothing to brag about. <laughs> so uh, let me go uh, continue the quest after I get more arrows. So I'll see you guys in a bit. guys I'm back and uh, I changed my tunic color just for no reason really so anyways so now we uh, restocked on arrows uh, let's continue finding more posts so there's one more over here uh, this one's in a bush uh, there's some you have to like uh, uncover out of bushes so let's see but y'all remember you also want to approach it from an angle to where it doesn't spawn in the wall because if it spawns in the wall you can't get it because uh, even if you shoot you know so it's right here Turn your arrows and just shoot it down. Alright. Stop an opponent. Okay. So there's one more. And then, let's see. There's one, there's one more over here near a lot of the one ranch. Now, this one could be kind of tricky. But I pretty much took care of the hardest one in the beginning. Because that one, I swear, that one like drives me nuts because of how annoying it can be. You could be annoying too, buddy. So there's th this one over here. And they're like right from 12 o'clock of us, there's one more. So uh, yeah, you you want to make sure you have like all three bottles uh, currently of, of the quest. Currently of the quest, because uh, without them it's kind of harder to, you know, get them all at a steady pace. Alright, so there's that one. And uh, I'm gonna go restock and pretty much uh, once you get you get three at a time, if you get three at a time or you know two at a time or however you want, if you want to keep something in your bottle until you uh, you know bring back the points to that person, so you know the post seller. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go uh, take the post back to the post seller and he's gonna give me more points. And uh, I'm gonna do that off screen and we're gonna continue catching more. So I'll see you guys soon. Alright, so now we uh, turned in those posts. I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, the other four. So 
So we already, we already got uh, most of them in this half of the map. So we're gonna go the other half of the map of Hyrule Field. All right, so these ones are a little bit more easier. Well, not really actually, there's one more that's pretty hard to get. Well, I'll get it, no worries. So let's see. Let's go ahead and try and approach it from this angle. That is not what I wanted to do. Uh, that's the thing sometimes, like you really can't tell like exactly when it's gonna, like where exactly it's gonna spawn. So add that on top of your frustrating burger with buns and rage and frustration. Yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. So you wanna, there's one right here. It's a little bit more tricky. Son of a nutcracker, are you serious? So yeah, that one can be, that's like the other hard one that I'm talking about. Cause like, I swear, you have to like get the angle perfectly. Otherwise, he, otherwise he'll either spawn into a wall or you, he'll just be at an angle to where you can't really catch him that easily. It's just frustrating. Okay, I might be able to get him right here. All right, there we go. So that's something. All right, and there's like literally one more big pole that's like right next to us, but we're gonna like back up a little bit so that way we can give it time to spawn again. Okay. That was a different pole, by the way. Like, uh, there's one over here as well. And it's one of these bushes. So let's hit one of these bushes. See, there you go. Here's the other pole. There's like one more, well there's two more posts. Unfortunately, we only have one bottle uh, left for, for only one of them, so we can't get the other one yet. We're gonna have to take some of these in first before we can get all of them, but we're, we're pretty much almost done. So, uh, yeah, if you're, sorry about that. Pona should have jumped. But yeah, if you're like pretty decent at this, uh, you don't really have to restock your arrows too much. Just make sure you do it like after after you catch like three pose at a time or something because yeah you're gonna need a lot of arrows in case you mess up so there's one more pose it's like literally around here around that tree in particular come on you serious god and a hitbox of those things is well very decent frankly i just not good at this hold on let me try again it's just the angle of like when you're trying to shoot, I swear it's so awkward. And I feel so uncomfortable trying to shoot right. Let me try again. There we go. Okay. So uh, after we get this pull, I'm gonna go turn them in. And then we'll meet you guys back here. See you soon. Now we turn that last, those last pose in. There's one more we gotta get, the final pose, and it's right next to that last one we got. So it's pretty easy to get. So let's go ahead and get it, shall we? And uh, one more thing I forgot to mention actually. There's also uh, something else we can get. That's literally like right next to. Come on, opponent! You can jump that! That is not hard to jump. I've seen you jump higher than that. Come on, you silly horse. There we go. Okay. So, there's one more... Well, it's over here. After I get it, I'll show you guys uh, what I'm talking about. That there's something else we can get. And you want to get it. So, it's very important. So, let's see. Huh. Let's equip some bombs here. Oh, wait. Sorry. I'm thinking of something else. You'll have to bomb that rock, but... Point is, the pole is like right next to it, so it should be in this bush. Or maybe it's in the other bush. Let's see. It's one of these bushes. There we go. Voila! Got all the poles, baby. So once you turn them all in, you're pretty much good. You got the item you want. Okay, so let me go sh show you guys what I'm talking about really quick. 
It's like literally right next to here. So, no worries. Come on, hurry up, Epona. The item, the item I'm talking about is like next to a lonesome tree that's far in the distance. Not that one, but the tree that's like over here, watch. That tree, over there. Make sure you have your bombs out and check this out. Alright, and here we have a secret hole. So, let's see. Voila! It's a piece of heart down here. If you have the diamond scale, uh, you can get it no easily. Uh, no easy. <laughs> you can get it really easily. Not no easily. <laughs> well, if you didn't have the, di the diamond scale, then you probably couldn't uh, get it. Unless you had another item, which I'm not going to spoil. Uh, there's actually another item you can get it with, but... Anyways, now we got all the uh, posts, so let's go ahead and get a reward. So I'll meet you guys back at the post seller. Alright. So we got all the posts. He gave us 1,000 points for all of them. <clears throat> Ta-da! An empty ball. Alright, so there's all four empty bottles. And believe it or not, there's actually more bottles in the game, but um the way you get them, it's not legitimately, like, legitimately, there are no more empty bottles, but the reason I'm saying that is because, uh, the way to get more of those empty bottles is through a glitch. So, uh, how you do it is basically, when you get, when you get, like, a bug or something with the empty bottle, uh, press start, and then basically you want to go ahead and, uh, re uh replace... I re replace the bottle item on the C button with like some like let me give you an example like if you're catching it with this button and then you you get it like with the uh, like you try and get the bug and then you press start and then you replace it with the Deku nuts you'll actually replace the whole Deku nut slot that's right on the screen and you won't be able to use your Deku nuts instead you'll use that bottle what I recommend you use that for is like an item that's completely useless like maybe once you use your all your magic beans. All of them. All ten of them. Not all nine. All ten. And then also uh, something else later, but I'm not going to spoil. So uh, yeah, guys, we collected all the big posts, uh, and we got our fourth empty bottle. The next part of the Legends of the Ocarina of Time, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and find the third uh, medallion that we have to find, which is uh, the Water Medallion. So I'll see you guys in the next part of the Legends of the Ocarina of Time. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later. Peace.